Hi everyone, my name is Puffer Boss, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a very achievable F2P Yai Miko team that I have been trying and using. And I'm also going to give you my thoughts about the character if you should pull or if you should save. So, after playing with this character quite a lot, I can say she is very, very fun to use. She's a little bit tricky um to get used to as you will see in my kind of showcase my rotations are not perfect but you know i'm trying my best so here my yai miko is still at 666 talents uh, i haven't done the new boss yet um i do have her weapon but today i am going to be using a more f2p friendly build so yeah, so I think Yaimiko takes a little bit of work to master properly. You got to get the hang of the three E's and getting them in this triangle to get the most damage because it increases the level if they are all connected and then using her burst and then right after you need to do three more because it resets your cooldown. Um, I definitely struggled with this and sometimes I think I forgot to use her skill again after the burst so I was not getting the full potential of her damage but um, yeah you will see anyways. So to get the most out of your Yaimiko's damage I think it's important to have the right teammates. Um, her biggest flaw is her energy recharge. Honestly it takes it feels like it takes forever to get her burst back. So that's why we use Fischl on this team. She is the battery for our Yaimiko. Um, and probably you'd want to use a Kazuha if you have Kazuha to increase her electro damage. Electro damage kind of suffers because the reactions aren't as strong as say like a vaporize or a melt. So Kazuha is definitely good, but as you can see, I do not own Kazuha, so I cannot show you that. So instead, we are playing her with four star characters and yeah, just trying our best with what we have. So let me go ahead and show you the builds we have, uh, starting with our Yai Miko. Uh, she is got a pretty good crit ratio. She is running an R3 Widsith and she has two piece Glad, two piece Thundering Fury. Uh, some of these are pretty okay. But then we have this Electro Damage Bonus Goblet, which is very questionable. Um, she is C0 and still 666. Then we have our Shangling. She is. She's okay. She has a lot of energy recharge. She needs it for her burst. She is on R5 catch. This is a very good F2P weapon. Everybody go fish and get your catches. R5, you won't regret it, even though fishing sucks. And she's on her Sephora P7 Fate. Her artifacts are pretty decent. I managed to get an okay set um, for P set in this. And her constellation, she's C5. And her talents are suffering a little bit because I clearly have not put the time and effort into raising them. And then we have Fischl, our battery. Uh, her crits are okay. She is using a sack bow, very F2P friendly maybe. Or you could use a Favonius war bow on her, just getting her lots of energy particles. And then we have two piece sundering, two piece glad. Again, these are quite questionable like this is not leveled at all because it seems pretty bad and then yeah just trying our best with what we have she is c6 though she is c6 this is probably the least ftp friendly but honestly i got this just from playing the game from for like over a year so um yeah it's very achievable and then her talents are uh, suffering a lot because i abandoned Fischl. For anyone that doesn't know, she's my least favorite character, so yeah. And then we have our Bennett on the team. He has a pretty good crit ratio. He is built sub DPS and support. He has a Favonius sword, very good for getting all those particles, keep his burst up, um, and also to feed to Shangling. So they're basically always ready with their bursts. Uh, he's on four piece no bless as usual. Um, he has HP Sands, Pyro Damage Bonus, and Crits. 
Bennett packs a punch. It's a waste to build him on just HP and healing bonus, honestly, in my opinion. So definitely think about turning your Bennett into a sub DPS. He is C5 right now and his talents are pretty well leveled. So let's get into the Spiral Abyss. As you can see, we will be doing the first half of Chamber 1, 2 and 3 on Floor 12. With these clear times, it probably wouldn't be possible to 3 star the Chambers, but definitely a 2 star if you have a decent team on the other half. As you can see, I do pick the cards that give me the least advantage. I didn't want to give myself any extra boosts just to showcase the genuine damage that this team can do. I hope you enjoy and I will see you at the end of this showcase.
there guys i hope you enjoyed that little showcase on the first chamber of floor 12 she definitely has a whole lot of potential once i eventually raise her properly and use her signature weapon on her t so here's the big question do you wish for yai or do you skip yai for another character honestly you should get yai if one she is your waifu and you love her get her if you love her design, if you love her character, just go for it because this game is about playing with characters you really like, not just about doing the most damage. If you care about Spiral Abyss more and your damage potential in teams, I would say skip. Honestly, I think Raiden Shogun is a way better investment into your team, um, for sure. She also works really well with R5 catch, so you don't need to try and pull a weapon for her. Yeah, I would definitely recommend a Raiden Shogun over Yai Miko if damage is your only concern. I think she's a super fun character and she's super cool and cute. So yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking subscribing if you want to see more i'm gonna do hopefully some more showcases and things in the future as i get better at making and editing videos um i want to try and give you some advice or you can give me some advice down in the comments if you think i'm doing something wrong which could be very possible because i am not the best player of this game <laughs> so yeah um i hope to see you all soon i hope you're all having wonderful days and i'll see you in the next stream or the next video so bye bye for now